number three then.
like to say we're certainly glad to have everyone here with us today. And at this time, we'll be taking up the preacher's question, if everyone wants to make it. Yeah, I'm sorry to tell you, folks. 186. Come on, kids.
I know you'll practice in the car all the way. Appreciate the goodness of the Lord. Appreciate each one of you that are here today and uh, thankful this morning that he has sent everything that we stand in need of. I, I was thinking this morning, I don't know, I woke up early this morning and I woke up with a song on my heart and you've probably heard if you've been listening to the radio much. Uh, the Inspiration's got a, a new song out that uh, talks about uh, all the things that God sent to us you know, the sun and uh, the flowers and the rain and all of that. But it, uh, it says, but when he sent Jesus, he sent him for me. And I, that, that, that was uh, what was on my heart when I, and it was probably 3 o'clock. I, I, I laid in the bed for a long time. I finally got up about, told Kathy it was, uh, I hadn't been up long, but I got up about 5 o'clock and just thinking about what the Lord, did, uh, Brother Melvin, what he sent to us and, his son, the gift of eternal life. And I'm so thankful this morning that his gift just keeps giving that, uh, that he sent to us and his son, uh, that he loved us enough to send even as a sinful creature as I am this morning, that he, he loved me even when I was, wasn't worth loving and uh, wasn't worthy of his love or uh, especially the death of his son but he loved us that much that he sent his son just for me this morning and I'm glad that salvation is a personal it's a personal thing it's between you and your creator this morning and I 
I'm glad that he loves us unconditionally. He loves us all the same. He doesn't make any difference in us this morning that he died for the worst, uh, the lowest this morning. And I was in that category, the worst and the lowest of any that he'd ever, uh, that was born. But, you know, I'm glad that uh, Christ had a plan for our lives that we might know him and know this gift of eternal life. And I'm so thankful for it this morning. And I'm so glad this morning that we can stand this morning and, and just tell you that we've been saved by his grace. And I'm thankful for it through his love and his mercy that we have life and have it more abundantly. And I'm so thankful for it. I, a lot of times we feel... Uh, sometimes we feel like uh, that nobody cares, and uh, and that's just old Satan gets in our minds and tells us all these things that, you know, uh, uh, that we're not any ben- uh, we're not beneficial to uh, ourselves or anybody else. But that's just old Satan getting in our mind, and I don't know where he talks to you like that or not. But uh, uh, but I'm glad that the Lord He just reassures me that I'm His, that He came for me and He died, and I feel like. Uh, a lot of times the scripture doesn't say, but a lot of times I feel like if I'd been the only one that he would still made that journey from heaven to earth to die for in, in my instead, Brother Jerome. And I'm thankful for it this morning that he cares that much. And so I'm, I'm just so glad this morning. I hope you feel that way this morning, if, uh, that the Lord loves you uh, that much, that he cares for you. And, uh, and we just want you to... Uh, to know this morning that he, he does love us. And I'm, I'm just going to read a verse or two, very familiar. You can quote this, third chapter of the book of St. John's writing, the, the 16th and 17th verse, and you can probably quote that without me even uh, 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 telling you uh, uh, what it, uh, how it starts or anything like that. But I'm glad this morning that God did send his son for you and I, and he sent him. Uh, that we could have, uh, 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 know him and have peace in our heart in the midst of the storm. The Bible said, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but the world through him might be saved. So there, this morning, I, I tell you, I believe the scriptures, uh, uh, everything's, uh, 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 that's the center of the scriptures this morning, that uh, the, uh, everything centers around Christ, that God sent him uh, into this world. Thank God that we might have uh, a hope this morning beyond this veil of tears. And I, I get to thinking about it this morning, and it, I thought about uh, that song, the, the the love of God, you know, that's in the, uh, uh, in the uh, book this morning that we talk about. He said if the, if the, uh, the sea was, was ink and, and every stalk a quill to, uh, to write the love of God, it, it would drain the oceans dry. We never, never get it told this morning how God loves us this morning. I, I know a lot of times this morning and I, I get to thinking about it a lot of times and I'm not being critical this morning. I, I love you this morning with all my heart, but a lot of times it seems like the message is, is uh, uh, just telling us just how low down and sorry we are, which I am. I, I'll take my part of that. I know that I've failed the Lord miserably many of a time, but I, I tell you this morning I'm glad that when I begin to read the scriptures, I, it tells me just how much God loves me and how how precious we are to him this morning and so uh, this morning I don't want to I want to I don't want to come in this morning and just get on your case this morning because I'm glad when the Lord said that he said he sent his a son into the world that came not to condemn the world, but that uh, the world through him might be saved this morning. So I'm glad this morning that we can preach unto you about the love of God this morning. That uh, uh, reach is higher than the, uh, uh, the earth is from the, uh, uh, the heavens this morning. 
that's how much I, I, the Lord loves you and I this morning that he loved the world. I, I, even while we were yet sinners that cried, I, I came in our worst condition, in our uh, worst uh, uh, thing that could, we could ever do in this world. I, uh, the lowest that man's ever uh, uh, come about himself to the God's love, thank God. I, I'm glad the Bible said we're sin. I, I did abound that God's love did much more abound. So uh, uh, this morning I would today, uh, amen, that we lift our eyes unto the Lord this morning uh, and just be thankful for his love that he had for us. Uh, amen, that he came. Uh, amen, and when we uh, uh, were unlovable, he loved us. I, amen. Thank God. And we get to looking around this morning and see I, uh, the condition a lot of people are in today and how low I, I sin has brought them down. Thank God I, I, that Jesus died for that. I, I worse one. I, amen. Maybe, maybe I, I, the, I, the crimes or what they've done. I, amen. Against man and mankind. I, uh, that Jesus loved them enough. I thought about Hitler. Uh, how low, uh, uh, how, how many deaths that he brought that uh, uh, Christ died for that man. Uh, amen. And I believe the opportunity was given uh, uh, somewhere in his life uh, uh, to turn from his wicked ways. Uh, uh, and we look out today and see uh, uh, how man, how low we've uh, uh, come and how low we've stooped. Uh. Uh, in this world today, but yet Jesus, I, I died for the worst this morning, I, and I hear him say it wasn't his will I, I, that any perish but all would come to repentance. I, I, this morning, thank God, I'm glad. I, I, thank God, the, I, I, the gospel, the plan of God, I, I, what he intended for man I, I, this morning, that they wouldn't have to die and go down I, I, to that awful place called hell but all I, I would come, could come to know him I, I thought about you, I, hey John Newton that brought I, I wrote the, I, about amazing grace I, I, he was a, I, a sinner he was a slave trader I, a man's soul I, a slave in the bondage I, a man in the bondage I, I, but I'm glad and that the grace of God, amen, that has appeared, thank God, unto all men, thank God, that it appeared to him, this grace, thank God, that it came to all men, and we have a choice this morning, I'm glad that whether we could choose life, or we could choose how to live after the place the Bible said, amen, that the uh, the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God this morning uh, is eternal life through uh, uh, Christ Jesus. I'm glad, uh, amen, that uh, uh, if it hadn't been for the grace of God, uh, uh, where would Jerry Banks be today? Uh, he could well be uh, uh, in the pits of hell. Uh, he could very well this morning be uh, uh, serving the life sentence huh, in one of the federal prisons. Huh, amen. If I'd have followed on after sin huh, when I was a young man huh, but I'm glad the Lord showed mercy huh, to you and me there was an opportunity huh, given me one time when the gospel was preached huh, to me and I found myself a sinner. Huh, amen. Separated I, I, from God, but I'm glad that I, I, I didn't have to stay in that I, I separated condition. I, and there was a way given unto me. I, I, the gospels told me I, I, that a man loved me enough to die for me. I, amen. That he took my 
sin debt. At the Calvary tree there he died. And he was without sin, but he became sin for you and I. Amen. Thank God he loved us that much. Amen. And when God sent Jesus, he sent him for me. He sent him for you this morning. And he's still with outstretched arm is welcoming every sinner this morning to him. Amen. That we can be reconciled to God through his son this morning. Amen. Thank God for his unspeakable gift this morning. How much love that he has for you and I for a lost and dying world today that when he he sent Jesus, thank God I know he came. I, I healed some folks. He opened the blinded eyes. I, he cleansed the leper. I, and he even I, he man brought some back from the dead. I, uh, but <laughs> Uh, that wasn't his mission. Uh, amen. He did these things to prove. Uh, amen. That he was the Son of God. Uh, amen. That he came. Uh, that we might have life uh, and have it more abundantly this morning, but he came. Uh, amen. He knew. Uh, amen. When he was in the temple there, when he was 12 year old, uh, amen. There he said among the doctors and the lawyers uh, of the scriptures, uh, amen. And they were amazed at his knowledge there. Uh, and that when his mom and dad came uh, uh, seeking him, uh, Amen. And they said, Son, why have you done this? And he said, Know you not that I must be up about my father's business even at that age. He knew he was headed to Calvary. Amen. He knew he was going to have to die for you and I for the sins of this world. But yet, I'm glad he was willing. Amen. To go all the way. He looked out over uh, a world that was in darkness, uh, uh, that was in sin. Uh, uh, violence filled the earth. Uh, uh, no doubt when he was here uh, and down through the ages it hadn't changed. Uh, it's still, uh, uh, still sin is still uh, uh, rampaging in the world we live in, but yet, uh, amen, he's still sinning. Uh, amen, the word of God uh, uh, for a people to turn uh, unto him. Thank God that they might have life and might uh, uh, turn from their wicked way and know him this morning and to know uh, the love of God this morning and uh, experience them for that for yourself this morning. Uh, amen. Set free. Uh, amen. Thank God. Uh, amen. Thank God. Sentence uh, of death upon us. We were born in sin conceived. Uh, uh, in it. Uh, amen. Thank God. And, but I'm glad the Lord didn't leave us there. Uh, amen. With that sentence of death on us. Uh, amen. But he sent his son to die. Uh, that we could be born again, might know him, I, I set free this morning, I, amen, from the death of, I, of the penalty of sin, thank God, I, he loved us, he cared, I, amen, and he still, thank God, he said, I'll set up my abode I, I, in their hearts and life, and I, amen, and they I, I no longer have to teach man know the, I, I, to the Lord, know the Lord, but every man can know him. Hey man, thank God he said he'd write his laws down in the, uh, on the tables of our heart this morning. Hey man, and I'm glad that's where he dwells. On the inside, thank God. I'm glad it's not superficial this morning. Hey man, but it's deep within. Hey man, down in our soul, thank God. That's where the love of God dwells this morning. Hey man, and when you 
get Jesus uh, on the inside. He'll come out on the outside. Thank God. Uh, I thought about as we studied this man uh, uh, this uh, morning in Sunday school about the boldness of uh, uh, Peter and John when they uh, uh, was in the midst of the council there and they began to ask them, uh, uh, Amen, of what, uh, how, whose name or what power uh, are you teaching or what, uh, Amen, this man that's been uh, uh, healed that was crippled by what means uh, uh, is he staying here whole? Thank God, but I'm glad uh, uh, the Bible said that old Peter been filled uh, uh, with the Holy Ghost. He began to tell them, thank God, uh, it's by this man called Jesus that you crucified, uh, uh, that you denied, thank God, uh, amen, that you builders uh, uh, rejected. He's become the chief corner uh, uh, this morning, thank God, filled with the Holy Ghost. Uh, amen, thank God, this morning they told uh, uh, by this man, Jesus, uh, is this man that was uh, impotent that he's made whole from, uh, amen, his infirmities, thank God, uh, amen, thank God, this morning, and he said, there's no other name given uh, under heaven, where must you must be saved, uh, uh, this morning, save the name of Jesus, uh, amen, but I'm glad this morning when we uh, are born again, we're filled, uh, oh, with the Holy Ghost, thank God that when the uh, Amen, the Lord. Amen, stirs in our heart to stand. Amen, I'm glad that old Peter. Amen, he, he spoke a lot of times out of turn while he was following the Lord. Amen. <laughs> But I'll tell you when, on the day of Pentecost, when the Holy Ghost fell upon them, amen, thank God, when they supposing those men to be drunk, I feel when you wine, old Peter just stood, amen, thank God, on that day and said, these men are not drunk and as you suppose, but this is that, amen, that old Joel, the prophet, thank God, God, some uh, uh, 400 years before uh, uh, Christ came along, thank God, said there's going to be a day that the Lord is uh, uh, going to pour out His Spirit upon all flesh. Thank God. Uh, amen. And He said, this is that. Uh, amen. Thank God this morning I'll tell you when the Spirit, uh, amen, moves. Uh, amen. And we'll move with it. Thank God when, when we stand uh, and begin to preach the Word of God. God, when you begin to testify, amen, and you get up, thank God, and say, the Lord's got me a song to sing this morning, amen, and you do it, amen, being filled with the Holy Ghost, there ain't none that can doubt, thank God, that the Lord's in the midst, amen, that he's got his hand upon us, Brother Melvin, amen, thank God, shy, Timmy, thank God, I tell you, when the Lord moves, amen, we can be bold as a lion, thank God for him, amen, for it's not our word, it's his this morning, I'm glad of it this morning, but I'm glad this morning I can't get away from it, amen, but when he sent Jesus, I, he sent him for me. I, I thank God this morning. I'm glad he sent him. I, amen. Aren't you this morning? I, aren't you glad he visited you? I, amen. This morning as we begin to think about I, I, where we were. I, amen. And when I, he first spoke to your heart, you realize, I, amen, you were I, a sinner. I, amen. Need I, of him. You were lost. Dying without hope, thank God. Do you remember that hour? Huh? Do you remember that? Huh? How you felt when condemnation? I huh? feel your heart, thank God, in you. Huh? The hopelessness huh? that you felt. Huh? Amen. But when that very moment, huh? amen, when you hear that, of the Spirit saying, Come unto me, huh? amen, and I'll give you, huh? I'll give you rest, I'll give you what you need. Thank God this morning, Brother Melvin, when we uh, amen, just stepped out behind, uh, from behind the pews and made that first step of uh, faith toward 
heard the Lord, thank God, and found ourselves. Amen. Bow before. I know I'm almighty God, thank God, but yet I found him to be merciful and tender. Amen. That he, a heart of compassion toward us, thank God, and asked him. Us, if we believe upon him and the work that he did at Calvary, amen, that he could make the difference. And when when the Lord came in, amen, what a sweet release. The peace, thank God, that condemnation was gone. That load that you were under seemed like it was just lifted off your shoulders. Amen. And if you could, you could have just flew away or floated away. Thank God. Amen. How much how the Lord loved us that he sent Jesus for that very thing right there. That we could have life. And not be have to live in condemnation anymore. But we can, amen. And the Bible said that who the Son has set free, he's free indeed. Thank God this morning. I, I'm thankful this morning that we have life through him this morning. That he sent him for me. He sent him for you today. He sent him for the sins of the whole world if they'd only turn this morning and believe upon him. And we're, we're trying, amen, through our weak efforts to Point people to Jesus. Thank God that He is what you need. Whatever's wrong in your life, <clears throat> Jesus is right this morning. Thank God He He can deliver you from the bondage of sin. Thank God today. The addiction that people have. Thank God those a lot of folks strung out on drugs and everything. That they, hey man, it seems like uh, that people just. Uh, the things of the world. Oh, Satan's got it to offer to them. They just they seem like they're in captivity. They just can't get loose. Huh? And you can't within yourself. But I tell you, if you'll bring it to Jesus, thank God. Huh? Hey, man, he set you free. Thank God. Huh? Hey, man, you won't have to go to counseling. Thank God. You won't have to, hey, man, try to get through the withdrawals and all of that. Thank God. I believe when the Lord comes in, hey, man, he cleans you from within. Amen. I've heard the testimony of a lot of drunkards when the Lord saved them. <laughs> Amen. They walked away from it. Didn't have to have another drink. Thank God. Didn't have to go to counseling or anything. God, I tell you, that's what the Lord can do this morning. He set you free this morning for whatever, thank God, that's going on in your, your life. And Jesus came to do that this morning for you and I. And I love him for it. I thank him every day that he brought me out. Thank God. I was in bondage. I was blind. Thank God. Couldn't see. Thank God. Was ca- captive. I, 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 was, I, I was crippled. I couldn't walk the straight and hour. But I'm glad that he, hey man, when he saved us, thank God he put us on that straight and narrow. And we can walk there. And I'm thankful for it this morning. Good to be saved this morning. I'm glad he sent him for me. Thank God. Amen.